micrometer screw gauge. Click on the links provided. Construction Micrometer screw gauge is an instrument used to measure the diameter of a thin wire or the thickness of a metal sheet up to an accuracy of the third decimal place of a centimeter. The screw gauge has a U-shaped frame with a flat end A called the stud. There is a long cylindrical nut at the other end. The nut is threaded from inside. There is a screw with a flat end B that can move inside the nut by rotating a hollow cylinder or thimble provided at the other end. A reference line graduated in mm is drawn on the cylinder attached to the nut. This reference line is called the main scale. The hollow cylinder or the thimble is also graduated and is divided into equal parts generally 50 or 100 parts. This graduated part of the hollow cylinder is known as the head scale or the circular scale. There is a ratchet attached to the screw by a spring. The ratchet is used to turn the screw. Using a screw gauge. Pitch of a screw gauge. Whenever we use a micrometer screw gauge, we have to first find out the pitch. The pitch of a screw is the distance travelled by the tip of the screw when the head of the screw is rotated once. That is, the pitch is the distance between the two consecutive threads on it. In order to determine the pitch, rotate the screw five times. Record the distance moved by the main scale. Distance moved by the main scale is equal to 5 mm. Number of revolutions is equal to 5. Pitch is equal to distance moved by thimble on the main scale by number of revolutions. That is equal to 1 mm. Least count of a screw gauge. Least count of a screw gauge is the smallest distance moved by the tip of the screw when the screw turns through one division. Least count is equal to pitch by number of divisions on the circular scale. Least count is equal to 1 by 100. That is equal to 0.01 millimeter. Determination of zero error of a screw gauge At times, on bringing the flat end of the screw in contact with the stud, the zero of the circular scale does not coincide with the zero of the main scale. This is a mechanical error and is referred to as the zero error of the screw gauge. Depending on the position of the zero of the circular scale, the zero error is of two types, namely positive zero error and negative zero error. Shown here are three screw gauges A, B and C. In screw gauge A, the zero of the circular scale and that of the main scale coincide. That is the screw gauge A is free of zero error. In screw gauge B, the zero of the circular scale is below the reference line of the main scale. The screw gauge is having a positive zero error. Let us now find out the positive zero error. Note the division of the circular scale that coincides with the reference line. The zero error is obtained by multiplying the coinciding circular or head scale division by the least count of the screw gauge. In the case of the screw gauge C, the zero of the head scale is above the reference line of the main scale. This screw gauge is having a negative error. To calculate the negative zero error, note the division of the circular scale or head scale that coincides with the reference line. Subtract the coinciding division from the total number of divisions on the circular scale. 
To obtain the least count, multiply the difference by the least count and assign a negative sign to it. Determination of diameter of a wire using a screw gauge. To measure the diameter of a wire with the help of a screw gauge, the following procedure is adopted. Find the least count of the screw gauge. Now check whether the screw gauge has a zero error or not. Place the wire in between the stud and the flat end of the screw. The ratchet is turned clockwise so as to hold the given wire gently between the stud and the flat end of the screw. Note the main scale reading. Find the coinciding circular scale reading. Repeat the experiment by adjusting the position of the wire. Diameter of the wire is equal to 3.49 mm. Applications of a screw gauge A screw gauge is used to make more accurate measurements of dimensions of objects. In engineering industries, Thickness and diameters of objects are found out using the screw gauge. Screw gauge is used to measure thickness or gauge of various steel sheets, diameters of discs, cylindrical bars and plugs, thickness of plywood used in carpentry.